Live from Cleveland's News Center, we're getting answers for you. Cleveland 19 News starts now. Good evening, I'm CN New Yorker filling in for Lydia Aspar. We will check in on the New Year's celebration in Times Square, but first, a look at your New Year's forecast. Beth McLeod is tracking cold. She's here with your first alert. So really, see, uh, the big thing we have to worry about is the cold. The, the lake effect snow showers have really kind of almost petered out at this point. There's really not a lot out there, but there is a lot of cold. Right now, 9 below is how the weather feels on your skin. 16 below out in Worcester. Know someone who's going out. You need to dress for the extreme cold and maybe things that go wrong. Hour by hour, I'll tell you what. By 10 o'clock, we'll be at 4 degrees. That's the actual temperature. Feels like temperature. We'll be at 8 below. By midnight, we'll be at 2 Two degrees. So we are definitely going to have a very cold night. Wind chill advisory out for almost everybody. Advisory is just, hey, it's dangerous out there. This isn't the super extreme stuff that could come by the middle of the week. In the meantime, we're just looking at a flake or a flurry here and there on Doppler Max. No big concerns about the snow, mainly because some of the winds right now are coming out of the southwest. So lake effect snow machine has been turned down. And for your New Year's Day, I'll tell you what, it's going to be a cold one. A mostly cloudy day. Most of us will remain dry and chilly. 12 degrees is about the best we're going to do, and your feels like temperature will be sub-zero throughout the entire day. Definitely a cold stretch. Uh, we're going to stay this way for a little bit. The lake effect snow machine kicks back up, but it's nothing too impressive. And then, see ya, thankfully, we'll be warming things back up. I'll show you the warmest day of the week coming up. Thank you, Beth. Now, the Browns started your New Year celebration with a party foul. Mm -hmm. They lost again, yeah. clinching a 0-16 season. Here's Mark Shaw with more. Oh, yeah. I remember before the year started, Browns fans were talking about this year and saying, well, they, they can't be any worse than last year. Oh, oh yes, they can. I'm not going to show you all the highlights. doesn't really matter. They lost. They're 0-16. Here is the one play, though, that everyone will remember and talk about. Fourth and two, Kaiser driving for a win. Amazing job of getting free. Corey Coleman dropped the ball. Kaiser worked his butt off to get free and get off a throw and get off a good throw, and he did, and Coleman dropped the ball right through the hands. That is the brownsiest way this thing could wrap up. They're 0-16. Here's what the guys said afterwards. Very unfortunate uh, there at the end. Our guys played hard, and I've said that all year. Um, this football team has given me everything they have, and I know that. So uh, this is just where we are. We're an on 16 football team. I get it. I hear. I know about the parades and everything that's going to be said, but uh, trust me, I don't think anybody know what the fight is in that room and how much these guys continued every week, and it is their job to go out and compete and fight. Ooh. Hugh Jackson still the head coach of the Cleveland Browns. Jimmy Haslam came out after the game, said he's their coach for 2018. So he is 1-31. and 31. By comparison, Oakland fired their head coach tonight after a 6-10 and 10 season, mm -hmm. coming off a year where they were 12-4. and 12-4 a year ago, 6-10 and 10 this year, fired in Oakland, go from 1-15 and 15 to 0-16, and, and Hugh Jackson has a job. Oh, what do you make of all this? Total disaster. <laughs> Thank you. I, I, <laughs> Yeah, yeah I, we don't even have the time. <laughs> <laughs> We'd be here till 2018. Oh, man. Well, it is official. The Browns are perfect, and there will be a parade. Lacey Chris sat down with the parade organizers tonight. Lacey, what can the fans expect? So do you remember when the Browns were perfect in preseason 4-0? Yeah, now they're a perfect 0-16, one of the worst teams in NFL history. So fans are going to commemorate this terrible season with a parade, hoping for a better year next year. Right, and at the bottom of that graphic, it said there's always next year. And I did that completely tongue-in-cheek. I never thought I'd be sitting here right now, right, at the last day of the year saying the Browns had not won a, a game in 2017. And, and yet, here we are. The Browns are officially perfect at 0-16 and as they lost to a very weak Steelers team. So essentially against their JVs, I thought the Browns had a legitimate shot. Yes, Chris McNeil is the brains behind the perfect season parade, but he's the first to tell you he didn't want it to happen. Uh, first of all, it's a lot of work. Number two, you want your team to win. So next Saturday, January 6th at high noon, 
there will be a parade around First Energy Stadium. What you can expect is much like any other parade. You're going to see uh, vehicles, Browns themed vehicles, of course. You're going to see RVs. You're going to see buses. You're going to see some walkers out there. And remember the guy with the cemetery of Browns quarterbacks? He'll be there. That guy and 27 of his buddies are getting together to actually carry those in a procession. So the creativity of Cleveland is also going to come out and be on display. And there will also likely be a few messages for Browns leadership. There's going to be some messages out there to Hugh Jackson, who's the coach of the Browns, to ownership of the Browns. And there's going to be some signs that say that essentially they're not happy with what's going on right now and that those guys have got to figure this thing out. Figure it out before perfect season parade 3.0. No, God, don't talk about that. No, no 3.0. Yeah, so now last year, since the Browns actually won one game, there wasn't a parade, and about $50,000 went to the Greater Cleveland Food Bank. Now, there will be a parade this year, but they're still asking everyone who attends to bring in canned goods or non-perishable food items that will go to the food bank. Getting answers, Lacey Chris, Cleveland 19 News. Thank you, Lacey. Heights Middle School in University Heights will be cleaned and disinfected. The district confirms a staff member has bacterial meningitis. We're told the person got sick after students and staff left for winter break. They're being treated right now. Classes will not resume until January 8th. The district will send information to families before students return. One East Side Cleveland teen is dead after being shot in the head while on his way home from work. Victor Williams has more on this terrible situation. You can still see the scene tape here from last night's incident where that 18 year old was tragically shot and killed right here on East 65th Street. People who we talked to today all tell us that he was a very well known young man. I don't know why anybody will hurt him. Everybody in this neighborhood knows him. The last day of 2017 may be the hardest for Kudera Hood and the rest of the rally staff to get through. He doesn't really have any family, so we were kind of that for him. He called me mom. He was kind of clingy. Overnight, their 18-year-old co-worker was shot in the back of the head here, just walking distance away from the restaurant. He just left here, like, and I was telling him to be careful and stuff, because he always out early in the morning, late at night. The teen was heading home after getting off of work at nearly 3 in the morning. The sweetest young boy you ever going to meet. With a smile and laugh like no other, co-workers say he was always there to help brighten up the day. Every day, all day, hey! You can be upset and you'll come in and you'll see Andy and just get happy because he's always upbeat and happy and willing to help out and willing to do for others. Which is how he got his job what in the happened? first place. He was known in the area for shoveling snow. He started off shoveling snow for all our businesses. I hired him because he just was here all the time. Now they must go on without him, but still their loved one lives <laughs> on in their memory. Well, we got pictures and videos and stories. That's all we've been doing this morning is just talking about the things he did and what made us laugh and how he made us feel. Now this does mark the 131st homicide of the year in Cleveland. Hopefully we can bring that number down in 2018. For now we're getting answers. Victor Williams, Cleveland, 19 News. Thank you, Victor. It's been a productive year for our Paul Olowski. All year long he's gotten answers for people. He recaps some of those stories for us tonight. The year began tragically with the death of Officer David Fahey on I-90. An arrest was quickly made. We wondered how and found a Lakewood cruiser equipped with 360-degree vision that cracked the case. East 133rd Street in East Cleveland was a dumping ground for rogue contractors. We reported the problem. The city got busy and the street was clean. I'm still convinced that had you not reached out to them, I would still be fighting with them for the money. In March, Crystal Smith told us about her debit card being skimmed at a gas station. The company was no help. We contacted them and she was refunded $12,000. She used it to buy her grandmother's house and will spend a Merry Christmas there. In Olmstead Township, a neighbor's home grading sent water cascading to a home next door. The township took note and the homeowner was made to fix the issue. Thanks to you and Channel 19. It got done. Councilwoman Julie McCormick in Brook Park resigned after we uncovered her shoplifting charges and a guilty plea. In Shelby, not much was done about a teacher pushing a young boy out of gym so hard that he slid across the floor. Are you ever going to announce to the public that the, Thank the, you very the teacher much. was uh, in, indeed... You may contact the Office of Professional Conduct. I appreciate you stopping by. After our story, he was suspended and docked pay.
We found all kinds of equipment left in the Brexville VA hospital, much of it usable. We did the story, but the VA did nothing, and the stuff paid for by your tax dollars still sits. We did get results for neighbors of a roach-infested home in Cleveland who suffered from roaches themselves. Mayor Jackson visited, and things happened. The funniest story of the year may have been utility poles placed right in the middle of a sidewalk at a busy intersection in Brook Park. After our report, a concrete walk-around was poured. And on Grantwood and Parma, a collapsing right. sewer was quickly fixed after we reported the danger. What I couldn't do in three and a half years, Orlo got it done in a week and a half. Paul Orlowski, Cleveland 19. Thank you, Orlo. There's more security this year in Times Square for the big ball drop than ever before. Ravellas are also dealing with frigid weather to ring in 2018. Wendy Gillette reports from Times Square on how the crowd is doing as they wait for the clock to strike midnight. Baby, it's cold outside, bone-chillingly cold. These friends from Atlanta are rubbing each other's feet to stay warm after arriving at 6 this morning. How cold are you? Um, I stopped feeling my toes about 30 minutes ago. Uh, I don't know if they're there or not anymore. This year is predicted to rank in the top three of coldest New Year's Eves in Times Square on record, with temperatures in the low teens and the wind chill making it feel like it's below zero. That's the coldest it's been since the 1960s. For the hundreds of thousands in midtown Manhattan, hunkering down for hours to watch the ball drop at midnight, bundling up is a necessity. I believe maybe seven shirts and like five different pants, two pairs of socks, everything's doubled. The crowd underwent intensive multiple layers of security screenings to enter Times Square, which is divided into fenced-in pens. The NYPD has taken unprecedented steps this year to prevent an attack, including more snipers monitoring elevated vantage points and additional police officers and canine units. With all the cops I see around here, and since they keep coming up and down here every few minutes with dogs and everything, I feel pretty secure. Also new this year, all 125 parking garages in the vicinity of Times Square were shut down and sealed to protect against possible car bombings. If anyone leaves their spot in Times Square to warm up, they're not allowed to return. For their dedication, they'll be rewarded with a once-in-a-lifetime experience of watching the nearly 12,000-pound Waterford crystal ball illuminated with 32,000 LED lights glide down a pole 470 feet above Times Square to usher in 2018. Wendy Gillette, Cleveland 19. This year's theme of the Waterford Crystal Ball is the gift of serenity. It has new crystals with a pattern of butterflies flying above a meadow. Coming up on Cleveland 19, as this bitter cold snap continues, warming centers are open all over the city, but now they need your help. Details next. And sadly, we're going to actually get colder before we see that warm-up. And the warm-up still stays below normal, but it's worth seeing. Take a live look at Independence. Oh, it looks like wintertime. It feels like wintertime. But coming up, I'll let you know when we go almost to the freezing mark. It's just ahead. I'm constantly updating my Facebook and my Twitter, but I'm following along with your days as well. And with that, I'm learning what's important to you and how you can plan out your day. Watch Beth McLeod, weekends on Cleveland 19 News. Thank you, Parma, for sharing your holidays. Everyone knows about Stotzenberger College's veterinary technician and medical assistant programs, but do you know about our exciting online classes in animal care, business, medical, and paralegal, which could lead to a job where you work from home? For many of our campus programs, you take your core classes in 10 months with the option of getting an associate's degree by taking additional classes online while you work. Our college's number one goal is to help you find a job that starts your career. Many of our programs start every five weeks. Go to sctoday.edu or call 888-859-8225. Cadillac XT5. Worship me. Beauty. Greater than the sum of its parts. Get this low mileage lease on this Cadillac XT5 from around $379 per month. Patiently, quietly, Visit your local Cadillac dealer. 
Save up to 50% January only. I'm Mike Massetta, CEO of NatureStone, the anti-everything basement floor. Call now for your free anti-hassle in-home cost estimate and get up to 50% off a beautiful NatureStone basement floor. January only at NatureStone.com. Hurry, it's the final days of the Ford year-end sales event. It's your last chance of the year to get our best offer of the year. 0% financing for 72 months, plus an extra 1,000 cash back across a full lineup of Ford cars, trucks, and SUVs. So hurry and save big on America's best-selling brand. It's the final days of the Ford year-end sales event with 0% financing for 72 months, plus an extra 1,000 cash back. See your Ford dealer before January 2nd and save. Shopping for cars shouldn't make you or the goal is to fall in love with the car and the price. At Tony's Auto World, we want you to drive away, not. That's why all cars come with a warranty at Tony's. But don't take our word for it. Just check out these reviews. Tony's Auto World has a huge selection. There's a car guarantee to fit your price range. So don't leave because you got this kind of a deal from another dealership. Shop at Tony's Auto World. You'll feel good about the deal you made for the car you drive. A birth injury makes a mom's job almost impossible. Call me. Live from Cleveland's News Center, driven by Don Joseph Toyota in Kent, this is Cleveland 19 News. The deep freeze continues across our area. For those without heat, these sub-zero temperatures are life-threatening. And that's why the city of Cleveland has opened four warming centers. Cleveland 19's Denise Zarella went to one today where she found out donations of food and other items are greatly needed right now. It's 16 degrees at 11 a.m. on New Year's Eve. This warming center at the Michael Zone Recreation Center is the place where Mark Thornton and at least a dozen others will ring in the new year. It's nice. I don't got to go out in the cold and freeze. Thornton says he's homeless and has had to survive bone-chilling temperatures before. You keep moving. The heat, body heat, you put layers like all those clothes on that bed is what we wear. You know, like four layers and it keeps your you know, ambient temperature 98.6. Luckily, right now, Thornton doesn't have to wear four layers while he stays here. This warming center and three others in the city of Cleveland are right now staying open 24 hours a day while the weather remains sub-zero and dangerous. So some of the people that have been staying here have been here for a few days already and it looks like it's just going to get colder. So they're looking at several more days possibly here even at this warming center and there's a lot of need. They need food, they need beverages, they could also use things like towels and washcloths and more. So we need coats and uh, anything for the head. Some of the people staying at this warming center asked that they not be seen on camera, but everyone, like Bruce Iverson, seemed relieved to be in from the cold. No old person nor young person should be out there trying to, you know, challenge that weather. No, I mean, it's not, it's not good, not good. The hope is that warmer temperatures may come eventually in the new year. In Cleveland, Denise Zarella, Cleveland 19. If you or someone you know needs a warm place to stay, there are four warming centers open right now in the city of Cleveland. They are the Zelma Watson George Recreation Center, the Collingwood Recreation Center, the Michael Zone Recreation Center, and the Lonnie Burton Recreation Center. All right there. I know. So I uh, need to stay warm. Uh, <laughs> 2018 is right around the corner. We're going to start it off on an incredibly yeah. cold note, and we're going to get colder before we get warmer. Yeah. So you need to protect your skin, you need to protect your babies, your fur kids. Yeah, fingers. Fingers, toes, toes nose, ears, you know. Tonight, everybody's heading outside. Five, four, three, two. Okay, this is a little early, but I thought I'd at least let you know. Uh, tonight's overnight temperatures are gonna be incredibly cold. Six degrees, your feels like temperature 10 below. Tomorrow, 12. Maybe a couple of few flakes floating around but nothing you need to worry about too much. If it does even accumulate, it will be very light and basically in the east. In the meantime, the wind chill is really what's kicking it for so many of us. Nine below uh, out at Hopkins Airport, 16 below in Worcester, six below in Canton, six in Columbiana, slightly uh, warmer over on the east side of town, but warmer is all relative, isn't it? So your feels like temperature for tomorrow is gonna stay sub-zero throughout the daytime. I went ahead and put it up on a future view map 
mask and a map and you can see at 11 o'clock most of us still sub-zero matter of fact by one in the afternoon you get the idea right the wind chill factor is really never above zero tomorrow and that becomes a little dangerous so it's going to be colder tomorrow so here's a little bit of the good news but it takes a minute to get there but it's kind of worth waiting for the arctic air uh, coming in for 2018 tomorrow when we're in the pinks is not good but at least by tuesday maybe we'll see some single digits and we'll be above zero a little bit so here you go wednesday nope we're still in those pinks thursday unfortunately we get another blast of even colder air so i told you it's going to get a little colder before it gets better friday's our last really cold day saturday will start increasing and sunday and monday yeah we're finally above freezing actually next monday we're above average so that's something to look forward to in the meantime that is a long ways away the lake effect snow machine has basically stopped thanks to the wind shifting direction coming out of the west southwest and that is definitely helping out because you can see some lakes still seeing a little bit of activity even lake michigan but we are not because our wind shift future view shows the temperatures to get you going tomorrow morning i know so many of you spend tomorrow morning watching parades on tv good idea because look at our temperatures most of us much colder than where we were in the morning time and look for the return of the lake effect snow showers because the winds will then be coming out of the north northwest again and so basically geauga or geauga lake and ashtabula county will be your main culprit so you can see lake effect snow machine really kind of kicks back off in the afternoon so making afternoon travel a little trickier a little slipperier because as you learned that salt doesn't really help at these kind of temperatures how much snow are we talking not a whole lot However, any little bit can slow you down by Tuesday, 9 o'clock in the morning, two inches of snow in Ashtabula, maybe an inch in a couple other places, but that's over a course of two days. So we stay icy cold tonight, single digits for just about everybody. No real snow concern for tonight or tomorrow until you get in the afternoon time, and that's mainly the snow belt, and it could give you maybe a half an inch, but nothing to get too excited about if two days equals two inches, right? So 12 14, 19 are high temperatures for the next couple of days. And then we take that cold hit, 9, 6, 13. But look, see ya, even on the map, Sunday, we're almost near freezing, and the next Monday, we're even warmer yet. Wait for that. Now, coming up on Cleveland 19, looking to make some financial New Year's resolutions, we've got some apps that can help. Wake up with all your breakfast favorites while also getting the latest news, traffic, and weather. Cleveland 19 News and McDonald's Breakfast, a deliciously satisfying way to start your day. I'm loving it. Wake up Cleveland with me, Ha Curtis. Weekday mornings on Cleveland 19. It's the start of a new year for you and your family. And we'd like you to be part of ours. So our Chevy employee discount is still available to everyone. You pay what we pay, not a cent more. It's our way of saying Happy New Year. And welcome to the family. The Chevy family. Use your employee discount for everyone to get 25% below MSRP on most 2017 cruise models. That's over $7,300 on this Chevy Cruise. The Chevy employee discount for everyone ends soon. The law firm of Friedman, Damiano & Smith have been representing the injured for over 40 years. Our mission remains the same, to provide full-service legal help for people who are injured. Whether you've been hurt in an accident or injured on the job, we level the playing field against big insurance companies and corporate interests. Call Friedman, Damiano & Smith or visit our website, fdslaw.com. Friedman, Damiano & Smith, fighting for you. Wow, big tree. <laughs> we love the holidays. So does AutoNation. Doing their year-end event, you'll save so much you can put more under the tree. <laughs> Not that tree. <laughs> meep, meep. This is it. The AutoNation year-end event. Your final chance to save. Drive new 2017 Fords with 0% financing or up to $10,000 off. Hurry to AutoNation Ford. Meep, meep. Don't miss it. Successful businesses have productive employees, happy customers, and great profits. Whether your business is small or large, City Desk can help you achieve all three. Give your employees an updated workspace and make your business stand out to clients. We'll help you stretch your budget or even come in under budget on office furniture. Bottom line, you want happy customers, and so do we. City Desk, where Cleveland shops for office furniture. Long live commitment. 
with a legendary Hemi engine and the powerful heavy duty with best in class fifth wheel towing and torque. Ram trucks work through the holiday so we can enjoy ours. Hurry in for great deals during the final days of the Ram Big Finish event. Well-qualified lessees get a low mileage lease on the 2018 Ram 1500 Bighorn Crew Cab 4x4 for $299 a month. There's something these folks want to say. Thank you, Rocky River! Thank you, Parma. Avon, Oakwood Village, Broadview Heights, and Avon Lake. Thank you for sharing your holidays. Getting answers to protect your family by testing new products that can make your home fireproof. It definitely can save lives. Asking questions and getting answers for you. Investigative reporter Carl Monday, only on Cleveland 19 News. More than half of Americans who made a financial New Year's resolution last year say they're in better money shape now. There are a few apps that can help you. One of the best all-around budgeting apps is Mint. It lets you divide your spending into different categories and figure out a budget. Mint also helps you set savings goals and sends regular updates on your progress. Another good one is Capital. You set rules to move money to savings for example, every time you splurge on an expensive coffee or a meal out, Digit is similar, except it looks at your income and spending and figures out what you can afford to transfer in savings in small amounts. You also get a 1% savings bonus every three months. Digit costs $2.99 a month. Now, if you really like taking selfies, here's another new one for you. A London cafe is offering selfie chinos, images of yours truly in the frothy top of your hot chocolate or cappuccino. You send a picture via a messaging app, which is uploaded to a machine. The picture is scanned and then etched onto the froth using flavorless food coloring. It takes four minutes for the masterpiece starring you to be born, and it costs about $7.50. Next on Cleveland 19, we are remembering the lives and careers of those who died in 2017. Cleveland 19 News is sponsored by WMMS, Cleveland's rock station. At Checkers and Rallies, get a win before the game even starts. Because now you can get your choice of sandwich and small fry for just two bucks. Beats overpriced stadium food, the $2 meal deal. Checkers and Rallies, fast foodies know the deal. If it's not a Tempur-Pedic, it's a compromise. When I was a Navy SEAL, I put in a special request to get one, and I realized that Tempur-Pedic was exponentially better than anything else. It gave me a huge performance advantage. It still does. Tempur-Pedic sleep is power. Power up with Fish Furniture. Fish Furniture is Cleveland's premier Tempur-Pedic mattress gallery. Stop by Fish Furniture today. With Advil's fast relief, you'll ask, what pulled muscle? What headache? Nothing works faster to make pain a distant memory. Advil Liquid Gels and Advil Liquid Gels Minis. What pain? If you could see your cough, you'd see all the sickness you're spreading. Robitussin CF Max. Nothing lasts longer and treats more symptoms for your cough, cold, and flu. Robitussin CF Max Severe, because it's never just a cough. Really? 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 See zero in a whole new way. Get zero down, zero deposit, zero first month's payment, and zero do it signing on select Volkswagen models. Now with the People First warranty. Yeah. A special wish is a local wish granting organization. We grant wishes for children. When you donate to a special wish, you can actually see where your dollar is going because 100% of our donations go towards these big wishes for these children. And we're hoping to grant 15 wishes next year. That's our goal, and we're really hoping that we can ask the community to help us out with that. Please consider donating to a special wish this season. Sponsored by Anytime Fitness, because some wishes just can't wait.
AT&T has a network with thousands of best-in-class security experts, which means more of the eyeballs you want watching the network and less of the ones you don't. More experts preventing security issues and less security threats impacting our customers. More of a highly secure network with more security products available for further protection and less per month. Switch to AT&T Internet for business. More and less. That's the power of AND. Toyota Thon is on, and that means incredible year-end savings on a huge selection of our most popular models, like the adventurous RAV4, well-equipped Corolla, sporty all-new 2018 Camry, and more. During the final days, get any new 2017 Corolla or Corolla IM hatchback with 0 for 72 financing or $2,000 cash back, or lease either one for $169 a month. Toyota Thon deals end January 2nd. Hurry in today to get yours before they're gone. Toyota, let's go places. At Rallies and Checkers, the stakes couldn't be higher. The winner gets an extra crispy chicken strips and fries box. And the loser buys the new extra crispy chicken strips box for just two bucks. Rallies and Checkers, fast foodies know the deal. A tragic New Year's Eve day for law enforcement officials in Douglas County, Colorado. Five were shot by a suspect and one deputy has died. Laura Podesta reports on what led up to the gunfire. Officer shot. Four sheriff's deputies and one police officer were shot Sunday while responding to a domestic disturbance at this apartment complex 16 miles south of Denver. 29-year-old deputy Zachary Parrish died from his injuries. He leaves behind a wife and two young children. We are deeply saddened by the loss of um, Zachary. Um, when I sat with his wife and held her hand, I could see in her eyes, her life is over. The Douglas County Sheriff's Office says two civilians were also shot by the suspected gunman who fired an estimated 100 rounds. The suspect was killed by return fire. Uh, the only thing I'm going to talk about the suspect at this point, because we do not have him positively identified through the coroner's office, um, we are familiar with him. Honestly, it's, it's a little bit unsettling. So, you know, again, it's, it's one of those things where it's just be vigilant, you know? Learn who your neighbors are. On Twitter, President Trump wrote, My deepest condolences to the victims of the terrible shooting in Douglas County and their families. We love our police and law enforcement. God bless them all. Deputy Parrish was a seven-month veteran of the Sheriff's Department. In the hours after the shooting, law enforcement officials on motorcycles and in patrol cars escorted his body from the hospital. Laura Podesta, CBS News, New York. The four other law enforcement officials shot are in stable condition at area hospitals. 2017 has been a productive year for our Paul Orlowski. All year long, he's gotten answers for people who needed his help. He recaps some more of those stories. And I've been more than fair with them, man. I don't know what they, I don't know if they're just trying to get a cut. After a total of seven people died in Akron house fires, we were the only ones to confront Stanley Ford, the man later right, charged with right, the murders. Right. They located a, a, what they thought was a, a grave in the woods. We were first to report the search for Tierra Bryant's body, and sadly, the discovery and identification of that body. It was weeks into the football season, and the fields that the Browns paid for at John Marshall were done. One problem, there were no bleachers or working scoreboards. So the district still paid big money to bus players to practice in games. Speaking of sports, Mia Belazovic, who took $30,000 from a Springfield School's football booster club, was sentenced long after we reported her thefts. We got results for a man on Harvard and his basement flooding. The water department insisted it wasn't their water. We persisted, it was their water, and the problem was fixed. I couldn't get no answers. And when I called you and um, Channel 19, things the style mover. Hey, Councilman, can we talk to you real quick? No, absolutely. Why? Brook Park Councilman Thomas Troyer was sentenced after interfering in a police action at a noisy party. In Rocky River, we profiled a clever scheme where handyman trucks were targeted by a thief no. who ended up in cuffs. No. We went to Galleon and uncovered an illegal hookup of electricity in the backyard of the city's power chief. He pleaded guilty to receiving stolen property and is awaiting sentencing. Ty Zielinski is profoundly deaf without special implants. It has slowed his development. Berea schools balked at a special schooling for him. After our story, the district found proper placement. We found video of Maple Heights School Superintendent Dr. Charles Keenan depancing a board member at a crowded football game. He was suspended for 10 days without pay. 
there wasn't an aggressive bone in my body all night. Faze Banks and Alyssa Violet made accusations about the Barley House on their popular social media pages. We got video from the restaurant that vindicated it. Banks later issued a quasi-apology. Shelby Law Director Gordon Eister was charged with OVI, not having a license and other charges after crashing his motorcycle. He got off on the OVI in a plea deal, but lost the race for judge that he had entered. We were and remain the only news organization to report that Jeffrey Scullin had confessed to killing his fiancée's mother in Middleburg Heights, but he said it was during a struggle. The Arco recycling mess was in the news repeatedly. Finally, there appears progress on cleaning it up. Paul Orlowski, Cleveland 19. Pinpointing the weather where you live. Now, your Cleveland 19 first alert forecast. Well, Happy New Year, everybody. I'm Beth McLeod, and it is definitely a very cold New Year's Eve night. Down into the single digits as we all run off to our holiday parties ringing in 2018. 2018 is going to come in right around the 2 degree temperature mark, but it's going to be sub-zero. Winds out of the west, so everything for our snowmaking machine is kind of settled down. In the meantime, tomorrow is a huge traveling day, and even if I put this travel map in motion, you can see our entire almost the 50 states are definitely dry, just cold. So most areas, no matter where you're traveling, even parts of Buffalo are not looking too bad. The snow is actually just above that. So if tomorrow is your travel day, just know that you're really battling the cold and not a lot of snow. Meantime, our lake effect snow machine shut off because the winds are coming out of the west currently. It will reestablish tomorrow afternoon. Even tomorrow morning, you could wake up to some light snow through Lake Geauga, Estabula County. But for the most part, it really won't get going and then start including parts of the eastern portion of Cuyahoga County until later in the afternoon. Here's noontime on Future View. And you can see by about 3 o'clock, things become a little more intense by the deeper blue color. Most areas remaining dry, a mostly cloudy day, kind of like today, where you need your sunglasses, but you can survive without them. That's kind of what's coming our way. And then the lake effect snow, as what we dealt with last night, is when it comes down and we're this cold. It's just hard for ODOT to put enough product down on the road, but I think they did a great job. In the meantime... The temperatures stay cold. The snow machine does come back, but not really with much of a vengeance until Thursday and Friday, where we have a 50-50 shot of seeing more lake snow. Not a lot of snow in the forecast. I will give you this, but I thought I would let you know just one more time that the snow we see over the course of Monday and Tuesday is just two inches out towards Ashtabula County. At that point, that to you, you guys consider that just a dusting. Everyone else considers it, oh my gosh, we got two inches. So you should know there is snow in the forecast, just not a whole lot. Tomorrow we're at 12, Tuesday we're at 14, 19 for Wednesday. I know, originally that day was in the 20s. And then we get the second push of Arctic cold air that's colder than what we're dealing with now. Thus the numbers, 9, 6, and we don't start warming up until next weekend. And next weekend we start off very cold, but then we get just a little bit better flow in our weather, which is going to help, where we'll be near that 32 degree mark on Sunday, but that following Monday will be above the freezing mark and that's gonna feel like a small heat wave, isn't it, Sia? That sounds, sounds good. <laughs> Tom Petty, musician Fats Domino, and Jerry Lewis and Charles Manson are among the notable figures who passed away in 2017. Here is a look back at the celebrities, politicians, entertainers, and others who died this past year.
Cleveland 19 News is sponsored by The Call and Post, Ohio's black news leader. Shop the New Year's sale at Value City Furniture and save 10% off all living rooms, no minimum purchase required. Plus, get free delivery when you spend $9.99 or more and up to 50% off clearance items. Plus, hurry in store for no interest till January 2019. Only at Value City Furniture. It's the final days of the Ford year end sales event. You are going to be a big surprise. Oh, I see a big puppy. I see a big puppy. Hey, Greg. That's Ford, America's best-selling brand. Hurry, it's the last chance to get 0% financing for 72 months across a full line of Ford cars, trucks, and SUVs. It's the final days to get an additional 1,000 cash back on top of 0% financing for 72 months. Get these exclusive offers during the Ford year-end sales event. Bass Pro Shops. It's more than a store. It's a place with a great selection of brands you love. It's the place for huge savings during our after Christmas clearance sale. This week, save up to 50% on select men's and ladies' apparel, footwear, hunting clothing, and a wide selection of top brands for fishing, hunting, and shooting. Bring your gift cards and cash in with huge savings. There's never been a better time to come to Bass Pro Shops than right now. It's the start of a new year for you and your family. And we'd like you to be part of ours. So our Chevy employee discount is still available to everyone. You pay what we pay, not a cent more. It's our way of saying Happy New Year. And welcome to the family. The Chevy family. Use your employee discount for everyone to get 25% below MSRP on most 2017 cruise models. That's over $7,300 on this Chevy Cruise. The Chevy employee discount for everyone ends soon. Hurry to the New Year's mattress sale now at Value City Furniture and save 100 bucks off this Beauty Sleep Queen mattress set. Your choice of comfort, now just $5.99. Plus, spend $9.99 or more and get 36 months special financing. Only at Value City Furniture. Star Wars The Last Jedi had minimal new competition this week, but a holdover movie released a week ago came close to beating it. Rick Demigella has the numbers in the box office countdown. Actually, I'm going to pass on the violence. It was a much better weekend at the box office with three movies improving their numbers over last week, including Ferdinand, which went up 59% this weekend and held fast to fifth with $11.7 million. Ladies and gents, this is the moment you've waited for. The Greatest Showman saw a 73% increase in ticket sales while staying in fourth with $15.3 million. Hey, I would do anything to see what you guys would get. Pitch Perfect 3 stayed at number three, only dropping 11% over its debut with $17.8 million. Welcome to Jumanji. The second Jumanji movie stayed in second, but improved 39% over its debut. Jumanji, Welcome to the Jungle, rode off with $50.6 million. It's so much bigger. Star Wars The Last Jedi celebrates three victories in its third weekend in theaters. The latest Star Wars movie won the weekend with $52.4 million, but the bigger news is The Last Jedi zoomed past Beauty and the Beast to become the highest grossing movie of 2017. Jedi tops the domestic box office for the year with $530.3 million. And even bigger than that, Jedi has broken the $1 billion mark globally with $1.04 billion in worldwide wide ticket sales. The force is strong with this one. In Hollywood, I'm Rick Damagella. Star Wars The Last Jedi is now the eighth highest grossing movie of all time in North America and 24th biggest movie worldwide after just three weeks in the theaters. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. So you just feel better wearing this? <laughs> yes, a little bling. Feel a little warmer? Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's all in your mind because it's not. <laughs> it's not. doesn't matter all the fireworks you can throw up there, and that's not going to help at all. I'll tell you what, we are going to have a very cold day. Look at that. The numbers don't even register on that map. Tomorrow we'll make it to 12, 14 on Tuesday. Look at these temperatures. We do see a nice little bump as we head towards next Sunday, but that means for the next couple of days. Kids need to stay inside. Pets need to stay inside. I, and so many people ask about school closings and stuff. It won't be because of the snow. We're not going to get that much snow this week. It could, however, be because of the wind chill. Wind chill is going to be pretty serious this week. Stay warm. Thanks for watching Cleveland 19 News at 9. Sports Extra with Mark Schwab is next. For the latest headlines, anytime, download the 19 to go app. Have a great new year. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Cleveland 19.